YouTube. Today we're going to check out the bow stave that we've been trying to straighten in the vise for the last week. The hazelnut bow stave that we're going to try to make the headbeast style bow. I am going to be making some new videos with my new camera that's on the way so the sound and picture quality will greatly improve. So stay tuned and be patient please. I am working on improving the quality of the sound and the picture and the overall content. But it's a learning process for me, so just hang with me. If you have any tips or tricks, please post them in the comments. I'll be glad to uh, check them out and see how they work out for me. So today, like I said, we're going to take this out of this device. Prince is already here checking out to make sure I'm doing this all right. Am I doing that correctly, Prince? Is that all perfectly up to your recommendations, how I'm taking this out of there? So when we put this in here over the weekend, it was real crooked. It was bent off to the side about like this right here. I'm still not quite happy with it. It's got a bend at the other end now. So what I'm probably going to do is probably perform the same procedure with this side. And then at the end of the week, see if I can make a perfect center line across the bow stave to see if we can get a string to, come, to string up on this. But for today, we're just going to set this off to the side. I have a small project that I would like to share with you guys that I'm going to be working on here. This is my Tagelhapa, I guess they call that. It's a uh, horse hair harp. And uh, many of the popular medieval Viking bands play this instrument. I personally made this and it's still in the rough draft version so it's not quite what, it's, what I intended it to be so this is kind of what it sounds like here at the current moment and it's played by muting out the strings now the horsehair harp is actually supposed to have strings made of horsehair which are extremely hard to get at this length so I used acoustic guitar strings as you can read on the internet what substitutes are possible. I'm not happy with the way these strings play and sound. They, they, they don't play and perform very well. So what I did, I went and bought cello strings, which are even closer to the actual idea that I'm trying to achieve. Um, cello strings is a uh, string instrument that is also like a violin used uh, with a bow. So cello strings might actually get me closer to the sound I'm looking for. I'm also going to adjust the bridge. I'm going to lower it down and set it so all the strings are perfectly even across one plane instead of declining. I'm going to possibly, if time, engrave a Viking ship into the pattern of the holes that I drilled, which I originally intended. That's if I can get all this to work the proper way and this instrument is going to function the way I intended. If not, I'm going to start over on a new project and hopefully improve the second version from the things I've learned on this one. So we're going to set this aside. That's just an update to what's coming. Today we're going to work on making a wooden mallet out of this piece of oak. Let's set this over here with Prince. Prince is checking out the shop. I cleaned up in here so it's all nice and neat now and Prince can't find any dirt to put his snots in. Hmm? You want to check out the work table? We're on TV. We're on the YouTube. Yeah, anyway. This here is going to be a mallet. And my idea is to make it about half.
half and half handle and half mallet head. So the first thing we're going to do is take off the bark and for that we're going to use a axe. My axes. Be right back. My axe is right here. I was using it just earlier outside so hopefully this is going to go well. It's already starting to crack in some places. I don't know if this is going to become a successful project, but we're going to try. So we're going to shave the bark off of this. And I think this is going to be my handles. I'm not sure which side I want to start. Let's start on this side. Notice I'm using a chopping board. This is my special chopping board to protect my workbench so I don't destroy it. Drilling holes and chopping. Then I can try out my new vacuum cleaner, which I bought. My other one exploded. It's pretty cool. I was vacuum cleaning the shop and all of a sudden, boom! I had dust everywhere. So. Turn it around. It's looking nice already. Yes. It's actually quite fun. Chopping at this like this. Oops. I feel like I'm working at a Subway sandwich restaurant. They got these scrapers on. Make your sandwich and then you cut everything and then they put all the rest over in the trash. So what would you like on your oak Steve? Would you like some bark? Some sausage? So now we have this. Decisions, 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 right? Okay. Which side do I want to put my hand on? Chris, what are you doing? What is up? So, hmm. Oh boy, I don't know if this is going to turn out. This looks like this is going to be a piece of firewood. Well, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. So, I think I'm going to just go for this side as the handle. So we're going to draw a pencil line. Okay, we're going to use a marker. And we're going to go about right here, just the handle, about, there we go, so, let's see what we can see, alright, <clears throat> I'm going to cheat now, I'm going to use a saw, and I'm going to cut a good way, I'm going to eyeball this, into the wood far as I think I need to and then I'm going to just chop each section away from the part that I've already separated from the log and hopefully I'll have a semi straight piece of a chopper there. The reason I left so much at the top here is I think this is split and if I get this to actually work as the handle I'm going to cut a section especially to have this knot up here I'm afraid this is going to split right here. So this is hopefully going to work so we have a usable product. If not, we have to do this again. So let me get the saw. My finger out of the way. Let's try something. That worked pretty nicely. That did work pretty good. That's nice. So now I have these nice wedges. What a great idea. I'm glad that I have great ideas all the time.
saw somewhere now. I noticed that I've cut just about the depth off that I wanted to get out of some of this, but there's still some wood left. So I'm going to have to saw this again <clears throat> a little bit, all the way around. I think this is how tour started out. We had a wooden mallet first at practice. And I bet his dog kept bringing it back, right? Tor probably had a dog too. Probably. Hmm? Power tools. Yeah. Ooh, that's perfect. Dook, dook. Nice. It's got a nice weight to it now. Nice. Power tools. Yeah. We're going to sand it up a little bit. And then I'm going to glue up the ends. This one has a small split, but it, it hasn't gone all the way up the handle yet. I'm just going to glue it after I sand it down nice. There's no sharp edges left on there. And I'm going to use this when I do my splitting the logs. I might even make me some wooden uh, wooden dowels there. So wedges, yes. Um, I'm going to sand this down real quick. I'm going to use a fresh piece of sandpaper. Oh, let me just get prints out of here. Prints, dots, 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 Got your 80 grit, that'll work fine. Oh no, I put the Velcro down in the sawdust. Oops. YouTube, there we have it, finished product. I'm gonna go clean up the workshop. I'm gonna glue this bottom and top, so hopefully we don't have any splitting while this dries. And we have ourselves a nice mallet. It's got some nice weight to it. It fits in the hand nicely. Really got some mass. I didn't want to make the handle too thin. Run the risk of breaking it off as I strike something, but chamfered the edges some, top and bottom, so they don't split. Yep. Nice historical piece of tools. That's heavy. <clears throat> if you like my video, subscribe at the button.
down below in the link, right about here, somewhere, click, got it, cool, all right, and there'll be more coming up, I'm getting a new camera, a new microphone set up, and we're going to try that out and see how you guys like that, if the quality of the videos gets any better, we can uh, provide a better source of entertainment, and we'll clean this up, get everything situated, and I'll start thinking about what I'm going to do with the title hopper. All right, you too. Thanks a lot for tuning in. See you next time.